Oh God! Oh my God! And not a tissue in sight. Do you know I've sne? Oh, sorry, I've sneezed my way and coughed my way through today. Oh, I, I do feel better than I did this morning. I'm recording this one quite late, actually, on Wednesday night. It's only like five to twelve, so you'll see this quite quickly. Oh, can I stop sneezing for just a moment? Hello. It's Thursday the 13th of November 2014. I've had a really busy and quite expensive day. But I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, someone, want me to give, uh, someone wants me to give this a mention. Um, the MMP Manilo. Okay, this is called the Manilo, um, uh, Manilo Music Project fundraising thing. OK, so have a listen to this. Uh, Hi, Chris. I love your blogs, by the way. Very entertaining. I'm so glad. Little Anne. This is from Anne. The main problem we have with our group MMP Donations Draw is spreading the word. And any mention of us on your blog would be utterly wonderful. So here is your mention. Pay attention, people. As much or as little as you feel you can do, just pointing them in the right direction to our group page would be great. Now, the group page is called MMP Donations Draw, and this is on Facebook. And it's basically to raise money for the Manilo Music Project. Now, the Manilo Music Project is a Barry Manilo thing, and he raises money uh, to buy musical instruments and assist schools, where he is, I think, in the whole of America, uh, to buy new musical type stuff and to help with music education and all that sort of thing. All right? So that's what this is for. Um, and this particular page, the MMP uh, donations draw, you can go on it and they do a, a little draw and you win a prize. You win a prize. All right. It says, uh, we have found our first winner and we videoed the draw, catching first time. Although there was a lot of giggling beforehand. We like a bit of a giggle, Anne. We like giggle. Have you found time to visit the group yourself? Yes, I've had a look. All information is there, but I can answer any other questions. We are just three totally bonkers women who want to give something back. Well, welcome to the club, girls. You know, there's nothing wrong with being bonkers, dear. I've been doing it for years. I'm making a living out of it. Not doing this. This is all free. I don't get paid for this. No, I just like doing it. Jacqueline is our artist. OK, so she does paintings and all that. And is very talented at catching Barry on paper. Rachel calls herself the foot soldier, but we bounce ideas off each other. She is a carer for her granddaughter and a housewife, doing charity work in her free time. And I am the ideas and accounts processor, although I have dreams of being a successful novelist. Oh, never give up on your dreams, my darling. You write, I'm sure you must have written a few books and you keep writing and keep banging away at it. Same as I do this show. You know, I hope one day in my wildest dreams that I might be picked up by a national TV company or even a small radio station. You know, I hope. I mean, I've been doing it nine years. You would have thought something would happened by now. But I remain hopeful. I remain hopeful. <laughs> Uh, the event is running through to the 31st of January with weekly, monthly and the main prize on offer. Our artist is working on second and third prize portraits, but that's a secret to be revealed at Christmas. Oh, just a minute. Oh, we're going to sneeze. No. Oh. oh, you might have to wait for the rest of the show tomorrow. I don't know. Hang on a bit. So to recap, and I could take the hind legs of a donkey, could you please mention us in one of your uh, vlogs with thanks in advance? And that's from Anne. And once again, have a look on the Facebook and you're looking for the group MMP Donations Draw. And you'll find out all more about that and how to raise money for uh, this, this uh, wonderful course uh, that is all to do with uh, Barry Manilow uh, Music Project. All right, boys and girls, uh, apart from coughing and spluttering through to Jay, I have achieved quite a lot today, boys and girls. I've achieved quite a lot. I just want to say how marvellous it is that that Rosetta spaceship thing has landed on the comet. What got on the comet? What a feat of modern engineering that is. Isn't that fantastic? 
Ten years ago they've been working on this. Ten years and finally this thing appears at this point to have landed on the comet, although they're not sure whether it's angered itself down to it. It's like good fall off again. <laughs> God. But I tell you what, I bet it was a smoother landing than it is when Ron's driving the car. Oh, jerk, jerk, jerk all the time. And talking cars, I have today ordered my new car. Yes, the three years is almost up, boys and girls. It's not quite up yet. But apparently I can go early and do this, especially as my miles are up now. Uh, if I can just explain, the way I get a car, I put down a deposit, which is usually, it's not that big, actually. You put down a deposit and then you have monthly payments for a given number of years. In my case, three years. And you keep paying that monthly payment, you know, each month. And then at the end of three years, you hand it back. They give you so much for that car. And then they look at how much you owe on that car. And then there's a difference, and that goes as a deposit for the next car, and then you move on again. As long as you keep... Oh, excuse me, I'm going to sniff. The, you'll, you'll hate this noise. <sighs> Sorry, there's nothing I can do. I haven't got a tissue here. As long as you kind of stay within the same manufacturer, it works very well. And I'm very happy with Toyota, So, and that's how I do it. So my time is up now with that car, and I've ordered another one, another Yaris. But this time, look at this colour. That is the colour. Red. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. <clears throat> Apart from the colour, it's almost identical to the one I've got now. It's a diesel car. I want a, I want an electric car, but I've got range anxiety. They just cannot do the range at the moment. You've got a, like, a maximum range of about 100 miles, unless you can afford to buy a Telsa for like £85,000, which I, haven't, I don't have that sort of money, I'm afraid. You know, Unless you can afford to buy something like that, and then you'll have a 300-mile range. But I haven't got that sort of money. So that's what we're buying. The order's gone through, and I should have that in a couple of weeks' time. Do you like the colour? It's chilli red. Beautiful, beautiful colour. I've wanted, I wanted a red colour last time, but people kept putting me off and saying, oh, they're very subject to uh, accidents and all that. But um, anyway, so that's what I've ordered, a red, a red car. I also today bought a new fridge from John Lewis. Oh, it's all happening, dear. It's all happening. I love the service in John Lewis, as you well know. So that's being delivered... Friday, I think it's Friday week, and their, their service is second to none, John Lewis, so that's happening as well. Uh, very good service in the store and that. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the flats have had a little problem with their central heating, so I've had to order a new heating control unit. £75, dear. God's sake, about $130. Uh, what the, All that's wrong with it is one of the numbers, you know, on the temperature control, like it might say 21 degrees. Well, the two isn't coming up. The bit in the middle is missing. The LCD line in the middle. So instead of saying two, it says zero. And that's what they're moaning about. I mean, why someone couldn't have just got... Well, I should have gone round there and just felt tipped with a black felt pen and number one in front of it. Then that would have sorted the problem. Oh, no, I need a new central control unit. 74 quid. Jesus Christ. I'll probably be able to do that one myself. If it's like my central heating control unit downstairs, which has been changed next week anyway, if it's like that, then the thing just sits on a black... Uh, on a back plate and you kind of move it and take it off and you put a new one on it's as simple as that so that was ordered and uh, then we went to uh, i've got loads of christmas presents for children yes oh and one for my niece i've been a little bit of christmas shopping to toys r us toys r us toys r us toys r us and me and ron did we mucked about in there a bit but to be honest i was so we're in this toys r us no atmosphere in there whatsoever i thought this is supposed to be a happy shop the staff were walking around miserable. You get the mums with their buggies looking like, you know, like the rear end of a bus. I don't know what their problem is. Mums with buggies. They look so bloody miserable. You're in a toy shop. Be happy. There was no atmosphere in this toy shop at all. It was dreadful. It was awful in there. So we got a few bits and pieces. Uh, I got presents for all the great nieces and great grands uh, and great um, nephews today and one for my niece and so I've only got to get now one for my other younger nephew and one for my older nephew and my sister and they're the only ones I've got to get now so I've been done a bit of Christmas shopping uh, we went to Ed's Diner I do like Ed's Diner, you get a decent meal in there and then um, on the way back to the car 
we saw it was a gentleman with a walking stick and he was kind of he was like stopped in front of these double doors which were opening and closing for people right and he was standing outside like a sort of cafeteria place but he was leaning back and ron's gone up the stairs and i'm watching this bloke and i thought you're gonna fall over in a minute he's sort of leaning like that you know on his i said ron here look and ron looked over and he come down the stairs and he said, are you all right, mate? And the bloke wasn't really talking. Anyway, um, eventually Ron went into the cafeteria, grabbed a chair and of course the waitress come over. Is everything all right? I said, well, this gentleman uh, doesn't seem to be very well. Oh, she said, OK, would you like a glass of water? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we, we eventually got him to talk and he got him to sit down on this chair poor old soul and apparently a couple of weeks ago he'd had a stroke and he wasn't feeling very well and he was asking us to get a minicab to go home um at which point we did ask him if he'd rather have an ambulance uh you know because i mean he really didn't look very well at all um so what happened then the lady in the restaurant or the cafe she called uh the security guard who kind of took over and said okay thank you very much uh, fellas you, you can go now we'll look after this okay so we saw he was all right and off we went but i was a little bit concerned of course you know you don't know what's going to happen to these people i do hope he was all right i was really concerned about that chap he was about must have been about 70 75 i would guess maybe even a little bit older than that but it was a fact when he said he'd had a stroke a couple of weeks ago i thought oh you know maybe something's gone wrong again but uh, i do hope he's all right and just bear that in mind you know when you see someone and they're not doing they don't look very well do go over don't walk past you know don't walk past go and say something they might perfectly be all right or you might just save their life all right Thank you very much, boys and girls. Once again, have a look on that Facebook page, MMP Donations Draw, and that'll tell you all about the Manilo Music Project. That's uh, Rachel and Anne and... Oh, who's the other lady now? Jacqueline Run. Well done, girls. You carry on doing that, all right? See you on the next show. Bye-bye.